Ben here and today we have a new product to the channel. Beagle Minion have kindly sent over the time-lapse UV sensor for the Beagle camera over here. Now um, this is for you, this is specifically for resin printing. Anyone who has the Beagle camera knows that you use it for the FDM printing and the multitude of printers that are now available on the app has really really shone this uh, time-lapse camera right to the top of the market I believe. Now um, you will need this um, camera before you purchase the UV sensor. I believe on their um, website which I'll drop a link in the description that they will have a deal where you can purchase them both together and I'm sure there's some deals coming up over the next few months when they launch this specifically. Now like I say the UV sensor is specifically for UV printing so or resin printing sorry um, and what it does is a very simple connection connects up to your Beagle camera which I'll show a bit later on in the video with the descriptive guide comes with the instruction manual um, which I'll also show you and a sensor now the sensor quite simply goes through the fan shroud of your resin printer obviously take care of adding that because the fans are around that area and the sensor just sits just visible to the UV light. Now you don't want to block the UV light to the screen because obviously that will damage your print and you'll have deformities in your prints and that's not what you want. Ultimately the idea of this UV sensor is to be able to have a time-lapse video to show everyone in the community, to yourself, to your channel if you've got a channel and just to be able to showcase that beautiful print at the end of it. Lots of people use different versions and ways of taking uh, time lapse, some with very, very expensive cameras. But Beagle Minion have brought out a UV sensor that you just connect up to your Beagle camera. So now you can do FDM and resin time lapse. And my channel thinks that's absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to be doing this on the only Qubit Mono X 4K that I have. So I don't believe that there's any restrictions in what resin printer you can use this for. Obviously double check on their website and make sure that that's the case. Um, and I'll drop the links in the description. But before we move on to the unboxing and the setup and the prints that it delivers with the time lapse video at the end of it, let's take a moment just to remember that like and subscribe to my channel. You know, all the subscriptions, just a quick watch of my channel leads to bumping up my subs on my channel and brings me new content for you guys to watch. And for those who have already watched over the last nine months, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate every, I appreciate every single one of you. And it brings content like this. Now, I have the Ender 5S1 here by Creality and I've had some amazing prints and if you check out the community, you'll see some of those amazing prints. I have an unboxing and build of that. Check that out. I'll leave a link in the description again. And the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon over here, which has been an absolute workhorse ever since I got it, with absolutely no issues at all. So just check out those videos. Give them a little like and subscribe from that. So let's head over to the unboxing of the Beagle Minion UV sensor. Okay, so we're now at the stage where we want to connect up the UV sensor to the chosen resin printer. And as I said, uh, my one is the Anycubic Mono X 4K. So we're going to open up the box now and have a little look inside. So the first thing you'll see is the sensor itself. Um, in a bag, quite simply set up so there's no sort of technical side to it so what you've got here is you have some stickers now this is what you will use to stick the actual sensor itself which is here this is the part that will pick up the UV light and send the signal to this box which then sig sends the signal to the Beagle camera to take the picture and that's where your time-lapse um, camera comes from um, now it gives you another sticker here, so a Velcro, so you can stick, um, I guess, the box, the UV box to the side, so it's not dangling about. But now if you're going to be using it on multiple boxes, 
you're probably not going to need this velcro so we'll put that to one side for now like i say stickers for the cable and the actual bluetooth beagle uv sensor itself so let's put that to one side you have the beagle minion uv instructions manual and as you can see it just tells you step-by-step -step guides as to what to do with that so you have in the package itself you have the uv sensor you have a power plug which is in the box a type c power cable and then a quick start guide sticky tape and who can loop tape as well you on the actual box itself you have um, the uv light which is just to the left hand top corner um, and that's where you know whether it's working or not so every time it takes a uv shot that should flash up and that's what you're looking for you you've got the center part which is the button and then at the bottom you've got the type c power so it needs to be connected to up to power for it to be able to function much like the beagle camera itself so the next step to the guide is how to install it so it's telling me that i need to remove the bottom um, fan shroud to my uh, resin printer and that's what we're going to do now so let's put the instructions to one side and we're going to head over to that part okay so um after a bit of a head scratch as to how you remove the um the plates from the mono x because i've never actually done that it's uh had a little look online and it's actually removed from the side so um you take off this plate here and each each of the plates all the way around can individually come off um so that's that was fairly easy in the end um so what we want to do if you can see inside um you have the um the uv light here um, now like i said you don't want to block that so what we want to do is come in through there's a hole through here you can either go through the fan shroud at the bottom here there's a fan shroud here you can go in through there if you choose but in my case there's a hole here which has access in so i'm gonna see how far the wire goes and potentially do that so what we want to do once again turn it on its side and uh here we have the sensor we're going to fit this through and inside we want the um so we don't want to damage the sensor before we even start so we just want to feed it through so what you've got now is the sensor here just coming out through the bottom um so this shouldn't affect my my printer itself because it's on legs so apart from the fact that it's fairly fiddly to do so turn it on its side um and then what we want to do is let's try and do it this way so you guys can actually see what i'm doing um okay so we've got the sensor which you can see here um, and inside is the UV light. What we want to do is just be close enough. So I suggest we um, we go to about here, um, just under the bill plate, but away from the screen itself, but enough for it to pick up the sensor. And then what we're going to do is, with the tape that they supply here, we are going to um, attach that to the side so that it picks up that signal from the same place each time so these are your your stickers we're just going to apply one for the time being because what i'm going to do is before i set up everything um we're just going to uh take to make sure that the actual box is reading the uv sensor light so that's what we're going to do so it's quite fiddly to begin with depending on your machine so as you can see here we're just going to tape it so it's slightly off angle just whack a bit of tape across don't cover the actual um center itself and make sure it's clear of the screen which it is for me and then what we're going to do now is leaving the um cover shroud off 
Um, we're just going to see whether it's actually working or not. And if that's the case, then I can tape it all the way down so that it's not touching any of the components. So, um, as I said earlier, the um, package comes with a USB uh, connection and power adapter. So that, like I say, it needs to be connected up to power at all times for it to work properly. So what we're going to do is quickly connect up that so that we can see that this is actually working. So now I've got that connected, we're going to connect it up to the actual adapter itself. Just pushes in quite clearly. As you can see, um, it's showing in blue at the moment, so that's just telling me that the um, UV sensor is now being activated. Okay, so we've connected up the power to the UV sensor um, with the power supplied. Um, and the cable is currently connected inside of my printer. I've left the fan shroud up off just so that I can have a look inside um, I've only stuck it down with one piece of tape just because of the fact that if it's not in the right position I don't want to have to remove all the tape and then halfway through a print the tape all, all drops off so um, I always suggest you use one piece of tape just for the time being um, as you can see we've got a solid blue light now it's on the instructions it's asking me to carry out a detection um, you go to your tools um, on the AnyCubic Mono X, that's the case, um, press detection and then press next. And what we should do is get a triple flash, which you can see. So UV is being shown, it's done a triple flash. That will then tell the Beagle camera to take a picture and that's your time lapse. So every time, so let's, let's end that and do it again to mimic um, the UV being triggered each time, as you can see and it triple flashes so that's the actual setup in terms of connecting the uv to your machine it's so simple um for me on this machine it was a bit more of a head scratch because i didn't quite know how to gain access to the inner working parts because i never had to do that up until this point um but on the mono x it's just the side panel um, I've gone in through a, a small opening with the cable. So now that I know that that's in the correct place, I can tape up the rest. I won't need to show you that because that's fairly simple to do. Um, it gives you five pieces of um, sticky tape um, and to use maybe use two or three of them. I don't think you need to use all five. Um, and then obviously removing the power, just reconnect up your um, cover. And then we'll go over to the step where we're adding it to the Beagle camera and to the app itself. So let's do that. So video okay so everything is set up now so you would have followed the guide by the beagle minion team um, which I've attached to the video just before this so everything's connected so I have got the beagle camera just here um, on my stand um, I've added the resin and uh, now we're going to print the model that's on the SD card and as you can see on the um, Right hand side is the UV sensor by Beagle Minion and that's what's going to be reading the UV light and will flash two or three times and we know that each layer is being recorded by the Beagle camera itself. So what we're going to do now is we are going to kick a print off. And what we are going to do is we're going to print this one here. And we could press start. So the bill plate will be lowering down as you can see. Make sure that all of this is connected okay.
and there we have it um so as you see from the time lapse um i run out of resin which is pretty standard for my type of channel um i don't normally print in resin um and that's the time lapse camera by beagle minion so as you can see um it worked really well and it works using the beagle camera that you you may or may not already have like i say i'll leave a link in the description um, and you can purchase this yourself and I believe it's available from the 17th of April So thank you for everyone um, Don't forget to like and subscribe It's 3DP UK and that was the unboxing of the Beagle Minion UV time-lapse sensor Take care everyone